Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? Azario here, back with another Let's Discuss video. And you know, this is the gaming news vlog. This is me talking about just anything. That's what the Let's Discuss is about. Could be gaming news, could be food, could be something stupid that didn't happen. But this time, it's gaming news. So, Shonen Games had released some scans from their latest uh, magazine uh, book. Whatever the hell you want to call it. I know people got different names for these things anyway. But they revealed that the next two DLC characters coming to Dragon Ball Fighters are Bardock and Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan himself that KO's modeled after. Because, you know, he's non canon. But, uh, but yeah, I also want to talk about what their potential fighting styles can be like and things like that. But that's, we're going to get into that a little bit later. So, obviously, you see it right here the scans. You know, this is Shonen Jumps, uh, excuse me, Shonen Games. Um, this is like their skins right here. Let me read what they have right here. They don't really have much. It's a this month's V Jump magazine reveals that Brody and Bullock will be coming to Dragon Ball Fighters. We'll be translating translating this skin later today. But for now, enjoy the visual. So they haven't released it yet. You know, as I'm recording this, this was like just posted. So I might do another. I may do another video looking at the translation. I want to just get this information out there, getting people something they're excited about. But regardless, of, you know, I've played a lot of Japanese imports, so I'm vaguely familiar with Japanese. Um, if you, if I would have seen this like a couple, uh, I would say about like a good three, four years ago, I would have been able to translate this whole thing for you. But I haven't, I haven't been brushing up on my kanji or, or my hiragana, so I, I don't, I don't even know how to read the, you know, like the characters anymore. But nevertheless. Um, you can still look at the visuals. You can see what they got right here. You see they got Broly right here. I, I want to make out Broly's Omega um, Blast or whatever they used to call it back in the old Dragon Ball Z games. Um, you know, that's him right there shooting like a green in like the top left corner. I don't know if my cursor is even showing in the, uh, in the recorder here. Um, we're looking at... Broly, you know, he's going Super Saiyan, you know, that was a what if back in like the past, in like one of the past Dragon Ball Z games, that was like a what if, I want to say it was in a, it was in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, wasn't it, that he went Super Saiyan, and they show him going Super Saiyan right here as well, um, so that's something good to see that, you know, Bardock can, you know, go Super Saiyan in the game, uh, I don't know if he's going to do it just as something, I don't know if, if, if that's going to be like a a mode change um so like somewhat similar to like golden freezer or if that's going to be like the way he actually plays in the match which i don't think that's what's going to happen maybe he does it as a temporary transformation which is what it seems like because looking at the other scans he's fighting in his normal scene form and even even the scan that they use to reveal, you know, that's the scan that they're using. So it could be that he's going to be able to change into that state and fight in that state, or maybe for his finisher, that's what he does. You know, he goes into Super Saiyan mode real quick, and then he shoots a blast, and then he goes back to normal Saiyan form, which would suck because I I, I, will, I don't I don't even play Dragon Ball Fighters. I will soon, but I would like to play as a Super Saiyan bot. I, I mean, hey, like, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. And then we got Broly, the big powerhouse of in all of Dragon Ball Z. In, in the entirety of Dragon Ball, he's been like the the like the powerhouse standard when it came to you know big brute strength and and uh and just like his wild attitude and his wild um and his wild personality you know like he has set a standard for all of the characters in Dragon Ball history and even though there's been people who have been presumably stronger than him he's still been you know that standard that I think you know a lot of people can consider him you know that standard hasn't been met by anybody else you know that there hasn't been anybody as aggressive as him and as powerful as him in, in a lot of people's eyes so Broly has always been like that now, just judging by how they played in past Dragon Ball games, um, Bardock has always been more of like a a wild, swinging, um, haymaker 
fighter. Like that's the way he's always played. I mean, shooting glass like in like a haymaker style fashion. Um, you know, he his moves seem like they were meant to be about I don't know, like almost kind of like a heavy hitting flash, like a hard swinging style. That's that's the best way I can um, explain it. And with Broly in the past for Dragon Ball games, I mean, it's kind of obvious what they might have him doing. Uh, he's just going to be like this big brute strength charging, uh, being very aggressive, very, uh, you know, very powerful. Um, and just be about pure destruction. That's what Broly has always been, especially when he goes into his legendary Super Saiyan form. He's just gonna be all out attack I, I, I can tell like I, I, I can see him having like some elements of some super armor as well considering that in the Broly movies in the past you know he's been you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, he got pushed in the chest and hit and things like that and you know it, it just didn't phase him so if he has some elements of some super armor that would actually fit his character like I wouldn't be surprised um, with Bardock he I want to say that he may be more of like a technical character like he's gonna take a little bit more finesse than Broly to use <laughs> even though you know what I'm saying like Broly may be a little bit slower I feel like Bardock out of the two he's gonna be like the more technical character like with Bardock um, I mean like with Broly he's gonna be more straightforward and just like just beat up beat up beat up beat up with I feel like Bardock's gonna have like a few more like uh, surprises with him than with Broly because with Broly like we know what we're gonna get with Bardock is kind of iffy because they mixed in some things from some what if sagas and past Dragon Ball um, games and it seems like they're gonna try to implement that at least from the Super Saiyan form from Xenoverse 2 they're gonna try to implement that in in this game which I'm all for also at the bottom if you see right here there's a, a Supreme Kai of Time avatar that seems like we're gonna be getting and I don't know what this Android 21, I don't know if that's a cosplay. It seems like a cosplay. I don't know if that's Android 21. I mean, just looking at it, I want to say that it could be like the base form of Android 21 you might be able to play as. Or if that's like a cosplay. I can't really make it out because of the way the scan looks. But after the translation gets um, revealed, then most definitely I'll be taking a look at that and we can... Uh, further go into further detail about this but the link to this is going to be in the description man of course you guys can check it out and I will see you guys for more gaming check me out on twitch at adsplay101 or subscribe to this youtube channel at a-dsplay101 hit that bell notification button so that you can get notified anytime I go live I, got, I play all the latest games uh, and I'll, I'll be playing Dragon Ball Fighters soon, sooner than later. So, until then, peace and keep on gaming.